U U S S A A A review 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 What's happening guys? T McNeil USA Reviews. I would like to thank you guys once again for tuning into the channel, checking out the content. As I always say, it's greatly appreciated. Also, I would like to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers. I thank you guys for all the support, the love, the comments, and the feedback. As all of that helps to grow USA Reviews. And ultimately, I look forward to providing you guys with the best content possible, okay? So guys, uh, here it is, the uh, part two of the HD uh, mirror dash cam. Uh, I did an unboxing of the dash cam and you know as I've stated before I was going to give you guys a part two which is actually going to be the review of the same dash cam in action okay so without further ado guys here it is um, and what you're looking at right now is the actual uh, menu okay of the mirror cam all right now starting with the buttons at the bottom the bottom left is the power button to the right of that is the menu button uh, to the right of that is the settings to the right of that is your two arrow buttons for selecting your menu options and then to the far right is the OK button to confirm uh, whatever selection that you decide to choose okay now guys if you look at the actual screen um, right here you've got video quality you've got photo quality you've got video time length you've got move detect white balance you've got exposure okay now pushing this arrow to the right you got your power on video you got your screen timeout, which I currently have selected as off, because what happens is if you leave it on, the screen times out after a certain amount of time and the whole unit will turn off, okay? And that's basically the last thing that you don't want to happen, especially in the incident, okay? So if I keep hitting going down, you got your auto power off, which I also have off. Uh, recording function, that's for your microphone um, inside of the cab okay um, you got your park monitor now the park monitor kind of acts like um, I think it's like a park assist okay so as you're actually reversing the car or as you're parking the car um, if you get close to an object or a person etc what will happen is the camera will actually beep okay and it'll let you know that there's an object around your vehicle which I absolutely love, okay? Going down, you got your G-Sensor. And the G-Sensor, guys, is basically, it's sort of like um, like a shock absorbent for your car, so to sense. So basically, like, let's say if you're driving down the street and you have to slam on brakes all of a sudden, what happens is the G-Sensor motion kicks in and it'll actually save, um, that particular video okay and even if let's say if you get into an accident god forbid it'll actually save that clip for you and lock it in place so that you don't lose uh, you know the actual incident okay which I think is nice alright so you got your date and time language English of course time watermark uh, you got your format and also you know some guys um, as far as that format feature I actually found out that when I first put the um, memory card inside of the unit, you're actually supposed to format the memory card before you actually use it. Because what happened was, when I first got the unit, it wouldn't work. Uh, you know, as far as like the recording function. And I racked my brain for the past couple of days trying to figure this thing out until something finally said, "Hey, maybe you need to format that memory card." Okay. Now I'm just not a big person on. Um, you know reading instruction manuals I'm kind of a do-it-yourself guy I like to try to figure things out myself so you know eventually you know I did figure out what the problem is and you know got it working okay so if you keep going down you got factory reset firmware which is actually it's up to date 
and then you go back to video quality okay now that's the actual features of the camera also guys if you notice in the reflection here um, this uh, HD mirror cam also has an automatic uh, dimming feature okay which I absolutely love as well um, you know especially when you get those crazy people behind you uh, that have the um, high beams on okay again this is an automatic feature in the mirror it's nothing in the settings you know that you have to do to change anything it comes out of the box that way okay so that auto dimming feature will definitely save your eyeballs in the long run <laughs> okay so that's all the buttons guys that's all of the features now from this menu here if you want to actually get to the actual video footage let me show you that okay so what you want to do is you want to hit the uh, menu button okay now as you can see guys hope you can see that pretty good um, pretty big screen on this uh, mirror cam guys and as you can see at the top sort of almost in the middle it's 1080p so the video quality is going to be superb okay if you look at the top left corner that's your recording function all right the little man symbol in the in the uh, middle of the top of the screen is actually a feature where let's say if someone bumps into your car or, or not even bump into your car if someone gets near the front of your car even when the camera function is off like there's no power going to the camera you can actually set it where the uh, video camera will actually come on by itself while you're away from the car and it will record up to I think one to two minutes of footage so let's say you you know you live in a kind of crazy neighborhood and you got some people you know hanging around your car the camera has like a sensor in it and it'll actually sense the person outside of the windshield outside of the car and it will record them automatically which I love you know that's a very beautiful feature okay uh, the little eyeball beside the man is your uh, parking sensor okay to the right of that is the TF card which is uh, basically your micro SD card and then to the right of that is the microphone okay now this camera guys does record um, you know the uh, sound inside of the cab as well okay and then to the right of that you see the battery symbol blinking and let me show you guys that's basically you know the charging port right there okay so as long as you guys continue to have juice going to the camera you know that's always going to record for you okay and then of course you know to the right of that you've got the time to the bottom you have the date today's date is October 10th 2017 and then to the right of that you have the time again okay so guys now if you guys want to actually start to record something all you have to do is push the OK button now when you push OK now you see there guys have the timer sets four seconds five seconds six seconds so this is actually recording uh, video footage as we speak okay also guys with the video footage you can actually set it for different times now there's two minute increments there's three minute increments and then there's five minute increments okay so you can set your video footage to any one of those three increments uh, now just keep in mind that uh, the longer the video footage the more space that you're going to take up on the memory card okay so as you see guys it's already at about 40 seconds so once it reaches five minutes um, you know that particular video you know will be saved okay now of course if you know if you guys want to stop it you just push OK and it'll stop the video for you alright and last but not least guys let me show you this uh, function here now I'm gonna flip this down hope you guys can see that now at the very top to the left is the uh, is the charge cable okay that goes right from the uh, charger port from the cigarette lighter okay 
on top of that, trying to get this thing to focus. There we go. You have the AVN. Okay, now the AVN, I believe, is um. Oh, you know what, guys? Actually, the AVN goes for the uh, backup camera. Okay, now this does come with the backup camera function, and it has the included cables that you need. But I don't have that function hooked up yet, guys. So if I decide to do it, I may do a part three just to show you guys you know that feature but right now again it's, it's not hooked up okay now if you again guys you see there to the right of that you've got the tf card and that's where your uh micro sd card goes all right and that's pretty much it guys now if you guys i'm gonna pan this back a little bit if you guys check it out this is actually the default mirror that comes on the car this is the HD mirror cam that actually straps to your existing mirror, okay? Now, as you guys can see right up here, I uh, hope you guys can see that, but these are the actual straps that come with it. And there's little rubber pieces that flips around the clips. And then what it does is it goes around the back of the mirror to the other side. And you got another one on the other side right here behind this cable okay again straps around right to the other side okay so again this actually attaches to your existing mirror okay and as you can see it right here guys hd mirror cam my default mirror right there okay now guys let me show you this now the actual lens the actual lens is right there guys hopefully you can see that all right here's the actual lens so very good camera guys um excellent features so i like it a lot and what i'll do i'm going to actually um take out the memory card and let me actually show you that real quick guys now as soon as i can Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to find uh, the actual, um, uh, what is that, the memory card uh, micro SD holder that comes with the unit, which I cannot seem to find all of a sudden. But what happens, guys, is uh, when you take your memory card out, you put it inside of the micro SD uh usb it's like a usb thumb drive okay so you put it in the back of that which allows you to keep your mirror cam permanent and keep it steady on your existing mirror and then all you have to do is plug that into your uh laptop and guys you just pretty much go from there and upload your videos right into a file on your laptop okay so guys what i'm gonna do that uh basically that includes the review of the uh, HD mirror cam and what I'll do um, I got this cam from uh, Amazon okay so what I'll do I'm going to see if I can get the name and uh, the link possibly for this camera and what I'll do I'm going to go ahead on and uh, see if I can post it for you guys in the description so if you guys you know definitely want to check it out okay so again guys that concludes the review of my uh, HD mirror cam part two all right do me a favor guys make sure that you like the video share the video leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think also make sure that you smack the subscribe button for more videos and make sure that you tap the bell symbol to receive notifications first when usa reviews puts up new content all right guys so i'm gonna get on off here um you guys have a good day thank you for watching this is t mcneil usa reviews i catch you guys in the next video all right Deuces.